Today I will teach to determine the nature of a transaction, whether it will be cash or credit. Sometimes some transactions looking like a nature, but in actually they are different from each other. For example, some one transaction, if goods sold by rupees 20,000. Second example, goods sold by cash rupees 20,000. Third example, goods sold to Shyam by rupees 20,000. And last, goods sold to Shyam in cash by rupees 20,000. In four transactions, these are looking like same nature, but in actually they are different from each other. In first transaction, goods sold by rupees 20,000. In this transaction, goods sold, but whom sold? It not clear. So we have assumed uh, neither cash, neither person. So we have assumed that it will sold like cash. Then uh, this transaction will be related to cash. In second transaction, goods sold by cash rupees 20,000. It's directly uh, clear it's transaction related to cash. So this transaction directly cash goes. In third transaction, goods sold to Sham by rupees 20,000. In this transaction, goods sold to Sham, not by cash. So this transaction related to credit basis. And in last transaction, goods sold to Sham in cash by rupees 20,000. In this transaction, person name and cash both are given, but first priority goes to cash. So we have assumed or we have taken this transaction will be held by cash.